Hey everybody, welcome to my house. It's nice to have some guests in here after a long quarantine. So come on in, let's check the place out. Am I on an episode of Cribs? All right, I want to thank Thrive Market today for sponsoring this episode. I get very stressed out with all these businesses I have to run, podcasting, home renovations, all of that. So it's so nice to have something super convenient that shows up to my door. And everything I've got here in this box is organic, non-GMO, clean beauty products, safe supplements, and non-toxic home products. Every time I get a box, it's like Christmas morning, so let's go. Thrive Market is an online membership-based marketplace on a mission to make healthy living easy and affordable to everyone. You can shop for thousands of the best-selling organic foods and natural products at 25 to 50% below traditional retail prices. Oh yeah, I've actually been wanting more of these. <laughs> it is Christmas. This is how you know you're getting old, okay? I get so excited about toilet bowl cleaner. <laughs> it's biodegradable formula. It's free of dyes and synthetic fragrances. It's the good stuff. It's the good no. for the no. Who doesn't get excited about makeup products? So again, it's clean beauty and this is a liquid eyeliner. I am practicing mastering the wing and uh, it's, it's not easy, but this makes it a little easier. Okay, this is Bio Brightener Invisible Powder. Here's a little hot tip for you. So you first put on your concealer under eye and then after you add the brightening powder, just on top, lightly dust it under and it just brightens up your whole eye. Pino, could you not? This is also Pino's favorite toy from Thrive Market, as you can see. It's like his like safety blanket. You know when you have a blankie and it just turns into little shreds because you're still an adult? That's, that's Pino's toy. And my favorite, I love a good nude lip gloss and this is called nude rose lip gloss and it's one of my favorite colors oh it smells good so this is organic rose hip skincare oil i actually from having a couple rows of extensions have a dry scalp and you can also use this stuff in your hair and i know i've said this before but something that makes me feel really good about shopping with thrive is their one for one membership matching program and that means that for every membership purchased one is sent to a family in need. So click the link below and you will get a $20 shopping credit when you join. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the living area, which when I first designed this, it was a few years ago, I worked with my girlfriend, Jessica McCarthy, and we wanted like a little bit of a farm style living room. So we've got these wood cabinets that I keep all my games in. I wish I could play a game with you while you are watching this, but that, I don't know how that would work, but. I always have game nights. Okay, if you're wondering what this beautiful piece of art is, it's me. <laughs> this is me years ago doing a little, a little back bend and I wonder why I have back problems. That's why. <laughs> Just boys being boys, you know? Uh, I also have a pillow of Pino's face because I am one of those dog parents. So I'm doing some renovations. I know if you follow me on Instagram, you know that this used to be like the sore thumb of the house. It was all brown and just dated, nothing against brown kitchens, but dated and everything else was bright and white. So we are redoing it. This is gonna be a navy blue, all white countertops, all white and navy blue. Now there will be new countertops all along there, new microwave. Look at my fancy fridge. So when the kitchen is actually ready and not a complete disaster, I'm gonna do a whole other tour for you on the kitchen because I'm so excited about it. Okay. I also just got this table, which I am loving. I used to have a cactus in this corner that looked like a huge limp penis, if you will. And it was just like slowly dying every month. Wait, that's bad. If I can't take care of a cactus, how am I gonna take care of kids? Cactuses are so the easiest one to take care of. Anyway, everybody was like, get rid of that cactus. And for some reason, I was so attached to it. I anyway. think they're supposed to be in the sun. Cactus is there? Didn't know that. Okay, <laughs> lesson learned. Let's keep going. So this is my rock and roll Nashville vibes dining room. I wanted everything to be really dark, and sexy, and edgy. So I did the walls. It's almost a black color, but it's a really, really dark navy. I like anything fluffy, which Jason is not a fan of. But you know what? Next house, we can agree on that. I get packages like. I think at least three a day. And so usually this room is filled with boxes. 
and we try and organize and go through, but this is actually pretty clean right now. Bunch of rock stars on the wall. What I really wanted was a bunch of female powerhouses like Pink, Madonna, but we couldn't find the prints for those, but I'll look again. All right, so we're there, we're friends, you're in my bedroom. Jason and I disagree on this, okay? I am a big fan of trinkets and little bits of beautiful clutter. So <laughs> as you can see, I've got my hats, my trinkets, pictures, candles. This is very like um, Game of Thrones wine cup that I like. That's a kiddish cup. I love my kiddish cup. <laughs> <laughs> it's usually passed down in generations of Jewish families and they drink wine from it at their bar mitzvah and at their wedding. Well, Jason is Jewish, so. So this is where I sit, I do my makeup, I do all my skincare. I know this looks like a huge doobie, but it's not. I sage my whole room and sometimes I'm a huge nerd about it. Like I'll be like, be silent, be still, sleep well tonight, Caitlin. I'm a freak, okay. Um, put that back there. Uh, a little more trinkets and clutter over here. Okay, I get it. I need to clean it up a little bit. I need to tighten it up a little bit. This bed, okay. When I moved to Nashville, I had a mattress on the floor and I was like, my goal is to feel like I'm in a hotel bed, but better because I love sleep and good sleep is so important to me. So I wanted to make this a very calm room and find the best bed. I did it. This bed is better than a hotel bed, and we have great sleeps in it. And you know what? It wasn't actually that crazy. It's just from Bed Bath & Beyond. Super comfortable. Um, this is my little sitting area where uh, sometimes I like to just have my morning coffee. Sometimes I'll make a little office in here, bring my computer. I just like this area. I like looking out the window. I just feel calm in here. Now, this is kind of Jason's side of the room. This is Jason's side of the bed, my side of the bed. As you can tell from all of my trinkets and sleep mists and oils over there. My girlfriend Tiffany did this piece of abstract art and I'm obsessed with it and it goes perfectly in this room and she is so incredible. Everybody who follows me knows Cleo. She's my best friend, manager, business partner, and this is done by her sister. So I love that I have um, a friend's piece of art in here. And this is wallpaper. Some people want to know if this is paint. It's actually wallpaper. Uh, my another local Vancouver company called A New Wall, they sent me some wallpaper and I'm so in love with it. I don't want to show you my bathroom. <laughs> it's so ugly. It's one of those things like I want to redo like the kitchen. I'll give you a little peek. <gasps> oh no, it's so dirty. Oh my gosh. Get out, get out. No, don't look at the closet either. Oh! So I'm planning on renovating all of the closets and the bathroom to be one big open space. So this whole thing's gonna be gutted. So I keep putting off organizing my closets. I'm like, well, I'm just gutting it anyways. But I've been saying that for two years, so whatever. This man closet? No, I don't, he doesn't even get his own space in this room. <laughs> we have separate closets and separate bathrooms. And that, my friends, is the key to a healthy, happy relationship. Now for my happy place. <sighs> Let's just start here. It's my favorite part, the whole room. Usually I ride my bike in the morning and then the app that I have has a meditation after. So I'll just come over to my swinging chair and have a little Zen meditation for five minutes after a spin. Okay, so we're gonna take a deep breath. Let it all out. And you know what? I should not be a meditation coach. Amen. <laughs> I mean, this room still isn't done. We're going to put up a bunch of art and mirrors and stuff. But here is where I sit and do puzzles because i um, big puzzle guy over here. And I don't know if anybody else feels the same way, but every time I get a puzzle, there's always one piece missing. Every time. Three missing. This couch is the comfiest couch that you've ever sat on. Can you even handle these chairs? Like. Poor Jason. I mean, he moved into my house, so it's kind of funny because I'm like, it's so feminine in here. Again, we will move into our own home, but for now, I am going to enjoy my space. So I call this room Philadelphia. And if you look over here, above my fireplace, it says, this is our happy place. And it really is. This is um, my best friend's son, 
said, he drew this and it's a beautiful piece of art. Oh, we might have to get his permission to show this on camera, get him to sign a contract. A fake cactus, Caitlin, that's what you need. I just feel like it's very important to surround yourself, especially in your home. It's your sanctuary. You wanna fill it with things that make you happy. I love books, bright flowers, trinkets. I just think it makes it more of a home. It's not just, you know, a picture perfect, aesthetically pleasing. It's more of a home when you put your own touches to things. Yeah, okay, one of my favorite parts about this room is the light fixture. Now if you ask Jason, he says it looks like um, a circus or a clown room with a bunch of balloons, but I disagree. <laughs> Charizard, that I don't really play, but I could play a couple chords. Got your G chord. I don't even know what this one is, but I know it's a chord. Okay, I'm not the most knowledgeable when it comes to crystals, but I know I love things with energy and like healing and meaning. So I have a lot of crystals here. And then all my friends who come over who know anything about crystals, they always teach me about them. And this one is my absolute favorite. It's pyrite and it is good fortune. This one is also beautiful. This is a moonstone. I believe it's romance and it's also very spiritual. This is a smoky quartz, and this one's huge, but if you hold it, so this is a journey stone, and it is there to support your manifestations along a new journey in life. I actually got this for Jason when he started Restart. Let's just quickly pop upstairs. It's like Jason's office, YouTube space, all that good stuff, so we'll just see what he's doing. This is our bathroom. Now his bathroom is much nicer than mine because I designed it. Let the go, yo. Very appropriate. Jay, can we just say hello in your office? This is the most classic Jason thing in the world. He's got a picture of a buffalo. We all know he's from Buffalo. Wait, and I also got you, where's the other stone I got you? This. Yeah, uh, it was for money and success and good luck. You can hear that. What are you working on? Um, I got a bunch of stuff going on. Okay, well, yeah. we don't have time for that. Uh, <laughs> Show them the restart merch we're working on over there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is all Jason's restart merch that he's working on, which I actually love. I, I am, like, picky when it comes to clothes, and I really actually enjoy these actually. designs. Well, thanks for letting us come in your office. Thank you. Thank you for coming. And, Appreciate uh, that. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> See you next time. Good meeting, guys. Good meeting. Great, great talk. Okay, this for me is um, my next project. So um, this will all be gone. The bar will be black and white. Uh, we're gonna get a projection screen. It's gonna be a movie theater room. We're gonna get recliners. We're gonna paint it, and then we're gonna put a big poker table right here. We play poker. Jason loves poker. I actually just like blackjack. Okay. So once this is all redone, I can't wait to show you, along with the kitchen. And your workout room. And my workout room down there. I'm not even letting you go in there. She can't stop me, I have the camera. This will be a workout room. It's going to be a little gym. This is just some um, vision board stuff that Jason has done. Stick one right here that says propose to Caitlin and see if it manifests. <laughs> All right, so this is the ladies' lounge off the Vine headquarters, as you can see. Yeah, my neon sign. Um, that might not be good for lighting, so we'll turn it off. But this is where I podcast, work, hang out with the dogs, and look at this mirror. I'm obsessed with this huge mirror. It looks super antique, and it's just my favorite part of the room. And the wallpaper, same people from Vancouver. Got lots of fun signs. And then this is my lighting so that when I do Zoom calls, got that extra glow, yo. Again, lots of clutter. Makes me happy. Deal with it. Look at this a girl made me, a listener. It says, dude, you can hang your scrunchies on it and it's little corks. So perfect and so adorable and she's the sweetest. I really do appreciate every little gift that I get and everything that you guys do for me because I, I am a sentimental person, so I hang on to these things. Even like this picture right here, I know someone gave me at a live podcast, and it's me. Just have a little dipsy in the wine. 
classic. Very on brand. So there's this little note I keep. <laughs> so it says, Caitlin and Jason, because Jason, you missed out, should you choose to forego your individual rooms, you may stay as a couple in the fantasy suite. Jason didn't get a fantasy suite when he was on his season of The Bachelorette. And so we felt like we had to make up for it in the Bahamas. Again, sentimental, I hang on to it. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing my house. It was nice to have some company over. So thanks for being with me. Huge thank you to Thrive Market for sponsoring this episode. I really love doing these episodes for you. So just subscribe, okay? Please. Otherwise I'm gonna have to fire myself. I don't want that. <laughs>